There is much more to Mexican food than burritos. Today we will show you some cutting edge cuisine using the most innovative cooking techniques and fresh, authentic Mexican ingredients. We welcome Chef Jonathan Gomez Luna Torres. Hola. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Good to Super see you. Super happy. So your restaurant in Mexico City is one of seven Diamond Star restaurants. Exactly. Congratulations. Thank you. You've elevated Mexican cuisine. It's not just what people think, which is tacos and nachos. Oh, and no. It's more, more and more than that. And no. chimichangas. And <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Okay. This is more Tex-Mex. <laughs> so let's get started. It's so pretty. What is this? This is the a little snack you well, said. Well, it's a little snack, yeah. It's uh, actually it's like pork rind with a very classic sauce. In the south of Mexico, the name is Siquilpac. It's made with uh, roasted tomatoes and habanero chili. Mm. You know, it's super, the Mexican food is super rich in ingredients and techniques. So it's got the crunch with almost like a smoked flavor. Exactly. Microgreens. And it's a coriander and radish, yeah. What do you have here, chef? It's so pretty. Well, this is a uh, jicama, you know, the, yep. the jicama? And it's fitted with a, a lobster salpicon. And you have a passion fruit, fresh passion fruit from a, a Yucatan area. And we finish with the watape. Watape is like a sauce we make with the smoked chilies and uh, lobster broad. That smells delicious. So is yeah. this considered like a, a starter? Yeah, exactly. Okay, very nice. And then here you'll be plating, actually that is one of the finished products. You'll teach us yeah. how to make it. It's an entree. Oh, of course. This is for the dining tonight. It's in the Colibri's uh, restaurant and it's a uh, part of the Visa Dining uh, Culinary Series. And uh, it's a beautiful beef, okay, with a roasted eggplant puree. And uh, we have a mole, you know, it's a mix of chilies. It's like a very typical sauce. Yeah. And like I plating. So let's get started. Okay. The cool thing about the dining experience, it is sold out, but they fly in incredible world-renowned chefs like yourself to sample the cuisines in case we can't make it to Mexico City. You bring it here. So if we wanted to do something like this at home, where do we start? You have a beautiful seared, what is this? Uh, it's a petit filet from uh, Canada beef, and uh, it's uh, cooking in a sous vide version. You know, we cook like a 25 minutes. It's so low the sous vide option. is when it's like the boiling water, it's in the plastic bag, exactly. so it keeps the moisture inside. Exactly. So and you want it a little bit red? Yep. Uh, we have uh, onion ashes, we plate in there. So and fancy. This one is uh, roasted eggplant puree. Okay. okay. Again, how do you get it so blackened? Well, it's a very classic technique in Mexico. The name is tatemar. Actually, it's an open fire, and you burn it. You know, we burn it in ashes, mm -hmm. and you finish with a little bit of olive oil. And um, Mexican uh, recado negro is a paste made with chili ashes and spices. Wow, so much love and building up the flavors, yeah. right? So that is the uh, is onion? Onion ashes. Is that not awesome? You eat with your eyes first, and that's why they call this molecular gastronomy, right? Well, We're using science yeah. and everything Mother Nature gave you to make it happen. This is a roasted uh, spring onion. So you roasted the entire onion. That's why it looks. We a cook in a sous vide and only finish the you know in the top for okay. roasted. This is the beef. So how beef long so if you juicy. don't have a sous vide? How do you cook that beef? Uh, oh, we well. recommend sear. You know, I've been finishing the oven two three minutes for it to be juicy. Okay. Very nice. Uh, this. Uh, this one is a roasted plantain. Okay, so how long would you roast that in the oven for? Uh, we put it in the oven uh, like a, maybe half an hour with a little bit of butter, brown sugar. So you get the sweetness and the caramelization? Exactly. Nice. This is a uh, kale. Okay, we fry them. You know, so it gives crispy. you the crunch. Yeah, exactly. Nice texture. Yep. Do you ever okay. just want to just throw a big old messy thing on a plate, chef? Look how perfect, meticulous. <laughs> and it's all an art, isn't it? Spicy leaves. Arugula? Okay. Arugula. Nice. A bit, you, know. you see? So it could be everyday ingredients transformed and elevated, and it instantly looks so pleasing to the eye when you're eating something like this. There's so much love in the presentation. It was a little bit of radish sprouts. Okay. Coriander. We Coriander is super present in the Mexican food. So where do you get all of your microgreens? Do you have a lot of local growers in Mexico? Yeah, and we have uh, own, our own uh, uh, field. We, uh, actually, with the tomatoes and uh, uh, cucumbers, uh, zucchini flowers, chilies, and own uh, sprouts mm -hmm. and uh, flowers. Truly organic. So if yeah. people are traveling to Mexico, your restaurant is called Le Chic. Le Chic, okay. yeah. Just so people know where to get it. And we finish with a chiromole. It's another 
classic sauce. We so finish this. Mole is one of those things that people fight over. How do you make a proper mole? It involves so many. How many ingredients? I heard something like 24 herbs and spices. Yeah, it's some one. This one is more uh, simple. It's only eight, you know. And not all the moles have chocolate. This is a fake. myth. Yeah, okay. exactly. Does this one have chocolate? No. No, it does not. Actually, so what's no. in yours? Can you share? It's uh, uh, smoked chilies, roasted tomato, garlic, and uh, onion. And we finish with a recado negro. It's this paste. You know, it's made with uh, Mayan herbs, locally Mayan herbs. And uh, we finish in a slow uh, cooking. We mm. make, start with 10 liters. We finish with one liter. Beautiful smokiness to it. Thank you so much, Chef. Enjoy if you're heading down tonight. The Mexican Heat installment of the Visa Infinite Dining Experience takes place. You said it's sold out, so whoever's there, you're going to have a great time. Or you can always go visit your restaurant, Le Chic, in Mexico City. Please. For more information, breakfasttelevision.ca. Gracias. Thank you. Right now, we're going to throw things over to Kevin Frankish.